What are the most common things your friends say about you, the way they describe you, that you actually believe to be true? Uh, the most common thing is that I'm bold. That you what? That I'm bold. Oh, you're bold. We like that. Yeah. If they wanted to ask a lecture something, they were too too shy to ask, they would say, go and you know, you ask. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd never be afraid to... Um, jump at the opportunity to speak up, especially when it's important and it's for a good cause. So I think um, that's one of the most common and the, one of the most uh, ones that I like. So, mm-hmm. I think- so, so you, you're bold, you're, you're, you're young, you're an entrepreneur. Um, did, that, did you think that boldness helped you to um, look? Well, first of all, tell us what your business idea is about. So, um, like Samantha, my um, idea is not a full-fledged business as yet. It is um, a business plan for now and a small pilot project. And it is all about youth and agriculture. So, so I... Um, sorry, I was going to say that you, you, are, you coined the phrase um, agripreneur. Agripreneur. Um, <laughs> That wasn't a, um, an original phrase by me, but it is something that's um, around the Caribbean and, and the region. That's a term that young people feel like it's a better, um, I don't know, label, I guess, mm. to a farmer. But I think it's more than that. I believe that it's, it's agriculture, but not just the sun and the soil, but taking it further, like owning the value chain and becoming an entrepreneur. Not just being a farmer, so I think uh, that's that's where the um, the term finds um, its place here. But t- tell us a little bit about about this idea of yours, um, um, agriculture and business, and then later on I'm going to ask you about your push for youth, more youth to get into agriculture. But tell us about your your idea a little bit. Okay, so the um, the point of youth in agriculture is to um, to produce not just um, one or two agricultural products, although our focus is initially on bell peppers. And hold, on, hold on a second. Somebody's saying they can't hear, and I don't know. Just bear with me a second here. just want to check something. Okay, this should be hearing. Oh. Let's try this one more time. Um, why don't you start over where you were with youth in agriculture? Okay. So I believe um the place for youth in agriculture and and the the basis of of this business is to encourage young people to get involved in agriculture, and it's not just limited to um, I see the, the what's big now in Ghana, the hydroponics and, and the small kitchen garden. But I, I am promoting a more uh, sustainable state scale of agriculture that involves the business aspect of it. So yes, there's a lot of um, technical support available here in Ghana through the Ghana School of Agriculture, through NARI, the Saints Farm. So young people have the um, technical expertise for agriculture available to them. And what our business is focusing on doing is to provide the more business aspect of it to help them manage the business in terms of meeting the, the customer instead of having a middleman. But um, I guess people will be curious to know, mm-hmm. first, why you, why you believe so much in agriculture yourself, Gomen? And, and how, how do you plan to start your particular project? Okay, so... Um, 
I myself did not do agriculture at the high school level. It wasn't available at primary school. And even now at the university level, I'm not studying agriculture. But yet still, I have realized the potential after traveling around Guyana, the, the vast amount of lands that we have. And I had a friend here from the Caribbean once that's asking me, why do we have all this flat land and we're not doing agriculture? While in the Caribbean, they have um, so many hills and mountains and they're doing agriculture. And she was talking about going up, a, um, rolling down a hill with a pumpkin. And, and I'm wondering, we don't have that sort of struggle. We have um, very good conditions for agriculture here, but yet still we're not pursuing it as as we should on the scale that we should. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're big on youth and youth empowerment and youth involvement. If you had a room full of young people, what would you be telling them about your plan about, ag about agriculture? What would you be saying? So I think the first thing I would say is getting involved in agriculture is making yourself your own boss. So you are in charge of your farm and not just farm but the business now. And you earn and you become independent. And being in the community gives you this high level of um, empowerment as a, as a young person. So I would say that this is a way to earn for yourself. You don't have to go out there and look for a job and wonder if you're going to get a reply on an application or worry about working conditions at a place that might not be for you. So I think that it's a great way to just be your own boss and to um, earn a great living. And Gomen, you know, there, there's talk about um, a lot of unemployment among young people in mm -hmm. Guyana. Uh, why, why are you not thinking more about working for someone or, or applying for a job somewhere? Why, why entrepreneurship for you? Well, the unemployment rate among young people is about 49%, the last I checked. And I think that um, the businesses that are, to, to my knowledge, saturated, they need more, uh, more enterprises to be set up. So this is, this is why it's a great opportunity for young people to start setting up their own businesses. If you, if you had everything, all the tools you need, the time and everything to start, to start your, um, your agriculture business, what would it look like if, if you had started it already? What would you want it to, what would it look like? What would you want it to be in five years? And I'm just, I'm trying to get you to answer this, these questions to give other young people an opportunity to see the vision that you have for agriculture or, or your, your, you know, your brand of it. Okay. So um, within the first year of having a, a farm, it would be a shade house because of the intensity of the heat and it would be producing um, herbs, bell peppers, peppers, and um, things that are most in demand in our local kitchen. Mm -hmm. And once that's established and we've we have had that um, that that pilot set up, or I won't want to call it a pilot, that scale phase one set up, then within five years, I would hope that other young people would be producing at this level, and I mean at the, the high stand, I talk to friends about agriculture and ask them, even if it's not your main, um, your main career goal, it's always a way to earn that would support your, um, your livelihood and even support your career aspirations. So I think that young people are no longer focused on this, um, this, this unity that existed before and they're just come together to, to work towards um, initiatives like this. You know, I want to ask you, ask you a question. Have you ever shared your idea with anyone else? Yes, I have. <laughs> what are people's uh, usual reaction? 
Well, I can't say we, we do receive um, favorable responses and encourage. They, they, they are ex- the um, the older people that we have talked to. They they lend to us their um, their experience and in setting up our our business plan, which is very thorough. We had a lot of input from people in business that lend their support. But um, at this point, for myself, I um, I haven't received the support I needed financially. So I have been saving myself to start this farm up. But I can't say that the, the, the older people that we have talked to and even um, the younger people are lending their support and they're excited about getting this started. Awesome. What is, um, I'm going to ask you this question I asked, Samantha. Do you think your mindset has anything to do with, with success? I think, I think it has a lot to do with um, success because, um, like Samantha mentioned, passion. Passion is definitely one of the main drivers for pursuing this and I believe if I was not passionate and if I am not um, encouraging other young people to be as passionate about things like agriculture and the environment then um, we won't realize our potential so I believe that passion has a lot to do with it. Gomen, do you have anyone in your family um, that is a farmer that does farming. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to gauge what might have encouraged you, other than this friend from the Caribbean who, sa- who saw the irony that Guyana has so much, so many lamb, flat land, yet we are not doing that much in farming. Anybody in your family that does farming on a large scale or so on? Um, no, I. My dad is um, pretty good at gardening. Mm-hmm. And he, he does a few small things here and there, but that's that's not his occupation. But aside from that, I think um, I can't think of any other relative that's into farming. You know, when 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 <laughs> in the seventies or the eighties, the seventies, right? There's a lot of push for for the country to feed, clothe, and house itself. Mm-hmm. And um, many of us still believe that Guyana has that capacity, has that ability to do that. Do you think that agri, agripreneur among young people can become a movement? Well, I certainly do believe that it is the way forward for young people in Guyana. And like I mentioned before, even if it's not your... Um, your your for, your first goal it can be a way forward to pursue your um your main goal in life because it is a certain form of income since you are producing food and it's something that everyone needs i like i like i like what i'm hearing goldman i like this idea and and i'm sitting here thinking imagine if this becomes a movement among young people where the talk is, I mean, what are you planting these days? Or, or when is your next crop? Or what are you doing for crop rotation? And there is a whole um, uh, echo of, of agricultural sentiments and um, agriculture sentiments and, and so on, chatter um, among you guys. I, I, can, I can only see... I can only see tremendous benefit for Guyana. Should that become not only personal benefit, but benefit for the country? Because you are the future of the country. And imagine if you guys were to, to, to start planting, start farming. Um, what can happen in five, ten years from now? I mean, who, are there many among you who think like this? Well, actually, um, I don't know if they... I can't, I can't certainly say that my friends have had the same amount of, or the same level of passion, but from talking to friends and and letting them know the potential, I do have quite a few friends and um, colleagues as well that are just as excited about getting involved in agriculture. 
And I think what um, what they what they are coming to understand is that it it is moving away from the, the traditional farming when you're just in the hot sun, in the soil toiling all day. And there are all these different innovative ways today that different parts of the world are um, utilizing to produce crop. And of course, mm -hmm. as you know from a previous segment that I'm big on the environment. So we do support um, agriculture that's environmentally friendly as well. So we see that um, composting, which reduces the um, amount of solid waste that goes to the landfills here in Guyana is an excellent idea to have organic farming going. So we reduce the amount of waste going to the landfill by composting the, um, the organic waste coming out of the kitchens across Guyana. If you, if you had a way, if you could speak to the government, if the president or um, minister is listening to you today, what would you want to what would you want to say to them? Well, I think um, I would encourage them to start a, an agri program that um, sort of have something like a revolving fund that can finance these um, young people that want to start farms. And those young people will return the, um, the the finances to set up their farm after they are operating to that revolving fund, so that other young people will always and continuously have this um, this revolving revolving fund available for them to even if it's not an agricultural business, then they have other small businesses that they can start. So, if they were to come to you and say to you. Um, Gomen, for us to start such a fund, we want to have at least 50 to about 100 young people interested in signing on and, on a program that we are willing to finance and implement. Um, would, what would you do next? Would you be able to, 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 to reach out and um, get some of those, um, that many young people to buy into this? Well, I definitely can because, like I said, um, I have been advocating for agriculture, for youth involvement in agriculture. So, um, in the different spheres that I that I'm plugged into, I always um, preach, if I can use that term, the, the potential of agriculture. So, over the the, the time, I have come up with a, a, a great collection of young people that are excited and, and just waiting for us to get this pilot um, up and running so I can involve other young people. And the the model that I'm looking at, it's not just, um, like I mentioned before, just a farm, but we're looking at utilizing the skills of marketing persons, people that are competent with the computers so that we can ensure our records are up to date and that we're uh, producing at this level that the international markets are looking for. So we're looking to um, have a, a wide scope of young people. And I can say, yes, I do have access to such people. Okay. So here, here are the hard questions. If the government is listening or were to listen to you, and I don't see any reason why you want somebody from the, within the government is not tuned in here this evening. But... What are some things that, to get started, what are some things you guys would need, like, up front? Land, of course. So, um, land, of course. Uh, if it's to be a, a group project, we would need land. But outside of that, I, I do have personal land available to get started. And we would need support in supplies and materials for building shade houses, plant supplies, um, treatment for plants and um, some sort of expertise to, like I mentioned myself, I'm not a, um, an agri-learned person, but these, um, these various institutions, we, we would call their support, call for their skills and their support in um, getting the farm up and running. 
why don't you put your proposal together, uh, Gomen? At least put it together. At least you'll have something tangible. And if and when that call comes, you'll have something to show them. Does that make sense? Most definitely. Like I mentioned before, we did a thorough um, business plan before. And when I say we, I do have a, um, a partner that I work on this project with, uh -huh. um, her name is Yvette Wellington. And um, we did thorough research on setting up our business plan. We had support from persons in, in decades of experience in business that looked over our um, business plan and make sure everything was um you know on point but before, before